I would like to uh, start out by just thanking uh, the administration here, President Mr. Gustafson and uh, Provost Mr. Helms, uh, the athletic director Mr. Peeler, and the staff that uh, met with me and uh, decided on uh, decided to hire me. I guess so. Uh, it was nice to uh, receive that phone call, and uh, I feel blessed to be here. This journey has been a journey, it's been a process, uh, one that started a long time ago, and I think the good Lord has definitely been uh, looking out for both me and my family, and they've taken us to places that we never would have chosen, and the one thing I tell my wife is I said, you know what, honey, I wouldn't take back any of those places, because they've all been good, they've all been good places, we've met, we've got great friends at every stop we've ever had, but the thing that, uh, was always kind of tugging at, at our heartstrings, or my heartstrings, was yearning, yearning to be a head football player. I played football at a small school, small division three school, University of the South. I always envisioned being a head football coach at a small school like a Swanee, and being able to walk to work and raise my kids and, and, and do all that. Well, I kind of missed the raising my kids part. That part might be over, but actually we're still raising. Uh, but maybe they're walking to work, maybe I can still make that work out. But uh, anyway, I just want to uh, thank everybody in, that was part of this process. Uh, when I was here for the interview, I met some terrific people, and I had a conversation with someone that had been here and had left the area. Um, and he said, I said, well, you, in, a, in a sentence, in a couple sentences, just to sum up what your feelings were or could be about Erskine. And, and what he told me was, he goes, he's coach, it'll feel like home. And he said it right. He said it right. Uh, it felt like home. It feels like home. Uh, everyone I've met here has been absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure there's some people that, you know, this wasn't the first thing on their radar, but hopefully it, uh, it'll grow on them. And uh, hopefully we can get this thing doing the things that, that you all want, and I certainly want. And uh, that's building a, a football program that do West, South Carolina, the region, and you know, all we've heard about. So, and we've got some work to do. But uh, again, uh, I'm just uh, thankful to uh, to be here. And, uh, look forward to fielding any questions or having I've had a chance to talk to some of you at this point. But uh, look forward to asking any or answering any questions that I can possibly answer. At this point. Any questions for <clears throat> Coach Boyd? Well, Chef, I'm going to present you with the first Erskine football jersey. I don't know what they look like, Mr. Hallman, back in 1948. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, this is what they look like in 2018, and we're glad to be here. Good looking jersey. Appreciate uh, again everybody, and uh, there is one person I do want to thank who's kind of stood by me through all this. Uh, my wife, and uh, you know, I'm sure her parents didn't envision her going off to Swanee and marrying a football coach. That's probably not uh, just as most football leaders, the people that leave Swanee aren't going into coaching. That's for sure. Uh, so I guess Mark, we're in rare company, but uh, uh, she's been with me for. 28 years now, and uh, Camp College is a lot more than that, and uh, it's been a journey, and the journey continues, and then our kids, our kids have been, uh, there was a time in our career where my wife and I had to, uh, in order to pay bills and do things, we had to like live in different places, and, and uh, we weren't under the same roof, and uh, I was thinking about taking a high school job and just doing whatever I could do to, to be near the family, and make sure that we were kind of holding it together. And uh, my kids were the ones that said, no, <laughs> you're not a high school coach, you're a college coach. You did your high school thing, but you're a college coach. You need to stay in college. So really, 
you know, ultimately my kids were a big part of uh, our football family. Uh, we've grown up with football. It's the only job I've ever had. It's the only thing I've ever done. Uh, it's what my kids know. It's what my wife has come to know. And, uh, you know, it's just it's what we do. And uh, somebody asked me, you know, what I do outside of football. I said, well, I do football and I do family. And I'm really bad at golf. But I don't mind being bad at golf. <laughs> Other than that, I don't do a lot. I do a lot of reading, trying to uh, do some studying there. But, uh, you know, it's, it's mostly football and family. So thank you for having me. And I look forward to getting to know all of you. Um, please don't be a stranger. I've got an office somewhere on this campus. I know where it is, but I don't have to tell you yet. <laughs> and y'all be more than welcome to come visit anytime. Even though I may look like I'm busy, please knock on the door and say, you told me. So I'll stop what I'm doing, I'm sure. And uh, again, thank you very much. Good to be here. Glad to be in New West.